Hey everybody, I'd just like to review Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. Wow. I watched that on Sunday. Three hour long movie. I can tell you one thing, every single Mission Impossible just excels. Every single Mission Impossible has some rich plot line story. But far from all, this plot, Dead Reckoning is probably the most serious like realistic plot ever is actually what's happening in today's era about the artificial intelligence so basically mission impossible dead reckoning is about ethan hunt is he goes up against a entity entity is a artificial super intelligent so it's gone it's gone rogue and what it does is it penetrates through every defense system and plants a, a virus and pretty much manipulates and controls or even tricks uh, other defense systems into warring or launching uh, et cetera, missiles or et cetera. And wow, it's, compared to all the other Mission Impossibles, it's, it, felt like a, it felt like going back to the first one, but like it's sort of a slow burn, darker tone. You kind of feel like it's like a, it feels like it's like it's like sort of like end. It's, it's pretty much end of the world sort of uh, feeling in a way, and pretty much yeah, the stakes are much higher in this Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning compared to his all his other missions. But I still reckon Mission Impossible Rogue Nation and Fallout it had a bit more, in, a little bit more intense action, and I guess because he wasn't, I guess it was Dead Reckoning is more. Ethan was pretty much more. Going up against an AI, artificial intelligence, a computer. The AI also chose uh, his uh, sort of like the messiah called Gabriel. He was a former M IMF agent as well back in the days when Ethan was in his, was in his prime. And uh, I gave the movie a ten out of ten out of ten. It's just it's just so amazing. It's just so cool. It probably was a really long movie, three hours, but it could have some parts it could have been maybe chopped off a bit. But and, but either than that, the plot the plot the plot wise is 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 really really is really interesting. It's similar. The AI uh, plot is pretty much similar to our, the TV series with uh, Jim and Cazavell, the one he did with called Person of Interest. How there was uh, two AIs fighting each other, the uh, Samaritan and the machine so mission possible the reckoning did uh, have the same concept as the uh, personal interest uh tv series uh uh plot 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 uh and i i just uh, i just can't wait to dead reckoning part two next year june um it surely should continue with whoever controls the entity the ai for the greater good and I just hope the next one. I hope they they won't hope is it also like a cliffhanger in a way or not? Cliffhanger maybe more like a sort of like a just say like a bad like a bad ending, not a happy ending. So, so and then maybe we can leave it Ethan as as as, as a final send off as a, as his resting place and for the, in the future if if it if it does come back and play Ethan again maybe when he's like what. Six when he's like eighty years old, <laughs> not eighty years, maybe maybe seventy five or something. He's sixty one now, and then maybe gone from there. Maybe Mission Impossible, maybe the next one will be set in the in the future. And I I recommend um, Dead Reckoning, Mission Impossible Seven to everyone out there to watch it in the cinemas, definitely in the cinemas, and get in the get in there early, get the best seats in the front row. And just you just gotta like listen to the, every single words and the, the, the plot line. Uh, I also liked it also because they also brought back the original um, IMF uh, director Kittrich. He was from the original uh, 1996 Mission Impossible. He he was actually he, he he was actually really interesting. He was actually really good. He he also he also met, said his dialogues and uh, his act, his acting skills were like. Like he was actually, if he's actually, if he's actually a real, a real director of a, of, a, of an agency itself, it was pretty cool to see. Uh, yeah, Kittridge's return, and then uh, yeah, and then 
like uh being like how they, it was pretty cool how like uh i like it also how ethan in the introduction how he mentions that uh kitch was explaining to hunt that the mission was actually none of his concern all his mission was just get the key and that's it like priority so that's that's what made the mission and the plot really like secretive even with, even even with ethan's uh his level of access and his clearance he wouldn't even be able to have knowledge about what the entity is and uh i just can't wait for dead reckoning part two i hope i bet you it'll be another explosive mission coming up next year thanks